The Legacy of Wisdom Project gathers and publishes answers to many of humanity's most pressing questions from some of our most experienced and profound leaders. How can we best relate to the issues that come with facing death and mortality directly, particularly fear? People speak of the fear of death. You know, I can't speak as a sociologist at this point. All I can give you is my own wisdom and my own witness. And as this witness, I can tell you that the fear is not the fear of death. The fear is the fear of the pain connected with death, the suffering connected with death. And so it looks at times that there would be a welcome already to be able to say, all right, now the time has come. I'm, I'm glad. I can leave. I did this piece for Graceful Passages in which uh, I spoke as if I was on my deathbed, giving thanks for the experiences in, that, that I had. And then coming to the words, and I let go, and I let go, and I let go. There is a time when I am in bed and I'm about to fall asleep and I pay attention to my out breath as if it were my last breath. And to thy hands do I commend my spirit, O Lord. And that's, that's fine. Also, I mean, the whole business of the fear of death is people saying, Oi, I'll be dead forever. Well, it's true, I won't have my body. And it's true that my body has served me very well. And yes, I've taken it into the shop like a good old Volvo, you know, and uh, I did the upkeep on it and so on and so forth, changed the oil. I did whatever it was necessary, but it can't last forever. So that's not the problem. But the experiences that people have had even that I have had, of times in which I was out of the body, make me feel that this is not the end. I'd like, like Kubla Ross's patient has said, I'd like to be awake when that happens, when I'm in the transition. Uh, it's not like Woody Allen, who said, I don't mind dying as long as I don't have to be there. I would like to do like that patient of Kubla Ross who said, Ich will mein Sterben erleben. I want to live through my dying. It's not often that this is going to happen. I'd like to be able to see what that's like. I'm curious enough to see how I'm going to be um, wafting over my body, see the family. Yes, they won't be able to see me. I won't be able to reach out to them. But my feeling is going to be there for them. And I think this will be good. And I have talked with them about it too. So it isn't fear of death. It's only the fear of the suffering before. And for this, thank God, we now have an arrangement with people in hospice who are bringing beautiful palliative care to the situation so we don't have to suffer. So when the time comes for you, and for me, may it be an easy one, a joyful and even ecstatic one. And that's what I want to leave you, that as a good life, so a good death to be too. La 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 la